Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to Stabby Overview. On the first glance, it seems like a knockoff Assassin's Creed, which I mean, it's very easy to make that correlation. You not only have knives, parkour, you carry a hood over you, so I'm not sure if that was intentional, but definitely resemblant of the whole ambience. There are some key differences though, and let's just cover them. <laughs> So Stabby is an assassination parkour action game where in a darkly lit world you have to jump across the buildings, find some high profile targets and stab everything around you that's stabbable. I feel like I went into this game per se with a wrong mindset because the description and trailer put a heavy emphasis on the multiplayer mode which i almost completely disregarded and went more in the challenges or campaign-esque levels but at the same time there's just not that much content going on there is an apparent physics engine which works mostly with jiggles and momentum movement to prepare yourself in every direction it's intuitive sure nothing like groundbreaking i mean bone lab is a good standard of how you make a fully realized sandbox and physics project going on stabby however doesn't seem complete to me and feels more like a gimmicky tech demo instead of having an actual concrete point of view like it built itself around one thing and then nothing else really happened so there's just not that much depth <laughs> The game is fine altogether per se, you kinda learn things on the go. It's not necessarily inspiring me to play because the whole content section you can complete I feel like in like 30 minutes, which would put multiplayer for its future, you still have to get other people to play it. I don't know, I just don't see this being a standalone title but rather a part of something bigger but treated as a mini game. <laughs> Either way, that's not my development vision and it is on the store. <laughs> However, I just expected way more. <laughs> Let's go stab people around. What's going on? The vignette is... There we go. <laughs> That's interesting movement. Kinda slidey instead of smooth. I don't know how to explain that. Step, step, step. We can also throw them, of course. That's such a weird special effect for a hit. Well, that's a murder simulator, pretty much. I could very much just go over the ledge with my hands. Okay, you climb with knives. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's cool. Gimmicky, but... I feel like the whole game would be like that. It's very jiggly. Oh, 
why I'm moving myself. <laughs> oh. There can be only one on one hand. Jesus. It's a very weird ambience going on. Well, I mean, if you throw a knife, you kill a person, no? Okay, I mean... Where's the realism here? <laughs> Can't eliminate them. Also, the spot is relatively short. Combination. I don't think that I will remember that though. Well. <laughs> Oh, there's an indicator somehow. So that was essentially the training. We have challenges. But this doesn't feel like a game, rather a tech demo or interesting mechanics put in a project, but there's not that much going on really. But let's see this. Oh well apparently it is an act campaign, so I'm not totally sure what I'm playing.
whatever it is, it works somehow. It's like it has its own engine. I feel like it would perform way better without this jiggle jiggle physics. <laughs> oh. It seems like we can complete the game in like less than 30 minutes then. I'm definitely slacking off, but... That's not that much. This could very well be... Like a social world in VR chat or something. A standard game is a lot to give its praise. But the body server light? Make it make sense. I don't like the fact that I can climb anywhere I want. Definitely gives me movement freedom. Hi, mate. How do I fit in this hole? Ah. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely not starting over. He's in the innocence alive. Yeah. For now. Until we start to move off. Some people just want to kill all the innocents in the game because they just don't like them, I guess. Okay. <laughs> they just want to kill random people and keep killing them over and over and over until they lose the game. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna protect this. What are the mute buttons? If they're walking, they're most likely one of the targets. I, I can't tell the. I for I don't pay attention to that. Oh, I threw a knife at him and he's uh, orange. What should I do with him? Or they're like in the alleyway. Yo, guys, y'all better catch up. I'm gonna do a drop kill. Never mind, that's me. Yo, that's actually my target. So do you mind if I do kill? <laughs> I'm over yeah, it. Over. Besides the gimmicky mechanic, which that's. The only thing that's going on for this game, really. There's not that much else, and the amount of content is pretty limited. You complete the training, challenges, I mean, I was definitely playing around, but you can easily do them as well in a very short amount of time. From the couple seconds I've seen, I feel like multiplayer is the go-to overall. It seemed more full-fledged. Well, I mean, <laughs> you didn't have the mute button, which that's why I quit. I don't know, it's a rather confusing title that feels very app -labby. I'm assuming it got rated, but I don't see this being a fully realized project. 
but the version says otherwise, so it is what it is, like, I'm not necessarily a fan, I suppose. <laughs>